Today's quick lesson is how to do a fast CMA for a property that your client is interested in. So in this case, I have a client that's interested in writing an offer on a home that's in Montebello that just came on the market. I don't know the neighborhood very well, so I want to quickly see what has sold, what's active, and what's really available in that area to give them a good indication of value. So let's start with it really fast. We'll go to map search. And the property itself is in Montebello, California. I don't know the zip codes off the top of my head, so I'm going to go ahead and choose city. Type in Monte Bello, and as soon as I see a blue on the one that I want, I press the Enter key on my keyboard to choose that city. And it will distill down from our 41,000 listings in the community to just those that are in Montebello, giving me 49 results. I'll zoom in a little bit, and this particular property is in this neighborhood where my mouse cursor is. In fact, that's the one centered on where it is. So in the map search, I'll use the draw your own figure choice, which is the draw polygon for searching at the bottom, clicking on that now. And then piece by piece, I'll go ahead and click. Now I've driven the neighborhood and I know that basically I want everything north of Lincoln Avenue. So I'm gonna come down with trapezoid all the way over to Lincoln, pop up over this way, and then follow the 60 freeway. To close this, I double click. Now I'm showing everything that's active inside of that polygon. And in order to see what has sold, I'll quickly click over on the left-hand side where status is, and I'm going to select using my shift key from active all the way down to closed. The default is that the system will look back six months, and most of the time it has calendar dates. My preference is to put days back, just works better for me. And this particular property is priced at $699, and I think it's towards the top end of where things are at. So I'll go ahead and look for price, and knock that down to just those homes that are under $750,000. Press the tab key, it'll complete the search, and now I have 15 properties. From here, I can get a lot more detail by going into the list view and looking to see what the prices are per square foot. I'll go ahead and sort them. And this is the actual house that I'm looking at. It's a flip that was recently sold for 527,000, and now it's for sale for 699. Well, a fast way of seeing what I've got in front of me is selecting the check mark at the top. That will select all of the properties and then choosing CMA, one line CMA. This will open up a new tab for us. It actually says that my pop-up is blocked right now. So I'll go ahead and click on that to open up the pop-up. And let's see, we'll do it one more time. CMA, one line CMA. And this tool is exceptionally powerful for being able to see what is the average what is the minimum, the max, and the median for properties in that area? What they're selling for and how quickly they're selling. A really, really valuable tool. Again, fast way to do these searches inside of the edit search, drawing a shape, choosing the status, and then sorting and looking at the details to understand everything that's inside of it. Within 30 seconds, you've got yourself your CMA data, and now you're determining what's the best way to advise your client on offering for this particular property. Thank you.